What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be working on our third gen Tacoma. Today we're going to be in the rear of the Tacoma. We're we got a couple goodies here on the tow gate. Uh, we are going to be doing a diff breather for the rear differential. Um, and the reason we're going to be doing this is because we have found ourselves um, going over or through a couple um, deeper um, water passes than we would actually like to go through um, and the Tacoma does come with a one-way breather already but if you submerge the diff completely water can get in it potentially and uh, mix in with the oil and it's just not good so what we're gonna do is we are gonna be putting this ARB diff breather on the Tacoma and here is what comes in the kit so, this is the box that it's gonna come in. We got a bunch of zip ties, a um, couple fittings, the filter with a little um, aluminum manifold, and then we got all the hoses. They give us plenty to run um, if you do want to run it all the way to the front. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna come down, or well, up from the diff and probably into the tail light here just because the tail light is covered from rain and is really high and it hides everything really well so that way nothing is visible and you don't have to drill anything because there are already holes back here so there's already holes to go through with the lines so let's go ahead and get started all right step one we're going to be taking off the tail light it's literally just two 10 millimeter bolts once you have it loose, just go ahead and pull it straight back, just like that. Yours might look a little bit different just because I have the total tail modification on this one, um, which we haven't done a video to, so we can do that to show you guys later. But once you have this open, this is what it'll look like in here. So we're probably going to use that hole right there unless there's any other holes that would be better but we're probably going to go through that one there all right so here's the manifold that we're going to be mounting we unscrewed it from the arb filter so we're going to be mounting it all the way on the top up here uh, we have a 90 degree phillips head that we we're going to be using um, you guys could mount it down here we we're trying to avoid mounting it over here because it does go into the bed um, so mounting it towards the backside facing the front of the vehicle would be best so that's what we're going to do now this is the little guy we're going to be using it goes onto a drill and it's literally just a 90 degree angle um, with a phillips on it we're going to be using the self, uh, self tappers that they provided in the kit and they literally just go right into it just like that so we're just going to probably line it up first and mark it all right what we're going to be doing now before we mount it into the tail light area is we're going to be putting these plugs into three of the holes since we're only going to be using one of these fittings to run the line to the rear diff of the vehicle since we're only going to be using one of the lines so make sure you plug all three so this is what our manifold is going to look like once we have all the fittings on one, two, three plugs, and one fitting for the airline. All right, so we got our 90 on our drill. We're using a tiny drill bit, which you can't see. Um, we first used a center punch just to get a hole centered for us. And that's where we're at right there for our first hole. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna use our self tapper just to line that one up and then get it straight and then we'll drill the other hole all right so originally we were gonna go up here and then it was a little too high just because using this 90 is pretty tight when it's in here and we were hitting the top of the manifold on this bolt right there so we ended up coming down just maybe half an inch made this very first hole with the drill um, and then we're just gonna make another hole right here this is our other hole which we're not going to be using um, and so using this one make our other hole 
And then we're gonna put the self tappers in there. Now we'll just go ahead and put in our self tapper just to get the thread going. All right, cool. There we have it. Manifold looks pretty straight. And we have that one air fitting facing down since that's where we're gonna be where we're gonna be routing our airline. All right, so this here is your rear axle. And this little guy right here is gonna be your breather. So this here is a one-way breather, so air can only come out of it, but if you submerge it past the diff, obviously, um, you know, water can potentially get inside of it. And if you do live by, like, the ocean, you definitely don't want um, salt water getting in this. So, first thing we're going to be doing is just breaking this loose and taking it completely off. Then we're going to be replacing it with the one that uh, ARB provides in the kit. So just out of curiosity, we went ahead and disassembled the factory um, one-way valve. So this is the cap here. And inside the cap, there is a rubber piece. And then behind that, there is a spring. So the spring pushes down on the rubber piece, which closes this pretty much if I were to put my finger on it. That is how it prevents the water from going down into the diff from the other side but like I said before if you were to submerge it there is no way that this little rubber piece you see how the the outside of it still has room to uh, to move I think with water pressure because normally you're still you know driving through it you're not just sitting in the water so there's gonna be pressure that goes around that which could force water down into your dip so pretty cool to see that broken apart all right, so this is the one that ARB provides. It has the plastic um, piece on the top side just to connect with the air hose that we're gonna be installing in a little bit. So we're gonna tighten this all the way down. And this is gonna be something new that we're gonna start making pretty soon. And this is raw metal, that's why you guys see the rust. We just wanted to put it on here just to make sure everything fits and we've tested it out a couple times just to make sure it holds up, but it's plenty thick, so we're not gonna have any issues with it, um, you know, denting or anything like that. So once we have that fully tightened, we're gonna plug our line in, and it'll lock by itself, and then we have ran the line next to this bundle of wires, and we have zip tied all along the way here. Basically, we're just following all these existing lines already. Coming all the way around here to here. Pretty much all the way to our tail light area. And then we came out that hole. Let me see if I can show you guys that hole. So there's the hole that we showed you guys earlier. So that hole is gonna be right there. And this here is the airline that comes out of it and then we're gonna cut it probably about here to plug it in right into that fitting that we installed. Alright this is gonna be the final step. What we're doing now is just measuring see how much of the line we need to cut. We're gonna be using a uh, tube cutter. Just make sure you guys don't use dikes because it will squeeze the tube and it just won't fit correctly into that valve. So once you have it cut, run it up there, just make sure it goes all the way in. All right, now go ahead and screw on the filter. Once you have that screwed on, nice and snug, the entire thing's done. And you can put the tail light back together and you're all done. All right guys, that's gonna be it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, for those of you guys who want to do water crossings like that that are pretty deep, definitely recommend you doing this modification before you do that trail. 
Um, but that's going to be it. If you guys aren't subscribed, make sure you guys are subscribed, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.